The beautiful stillness of a winter landscape is always something to behold, especially if there's a little bit of snow. Here on Delmarva, there's one particular type of flora that you're probably used to seeing dot dotting the tree line this time of year. Unique leaf shapes, colorful berries standing out almost like ornaments. The American holly thrives here on the shore. And here to tell us more about this gorgeous tree is, of course, our friend Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me and my friends. So you've got one with leaves and one without. Is Are they different? Yes, and isn't that cool? Nature has just an amazing palette that they can say, well, why don't we give this one some leaves? I love the regular American holly, Ilex opaca, with all the leaves because what that does is the way that it grows on the trees, the leaves are always kind of pointing down mm -hmm. so the rain and the snow wash right off, right. but they get right to where the edge is of the tree where all the feeder roots are. So it's oh. always making sure that those feeder roots get some good water. So and mm -hmm. the leaves actually give protection to all the little birds, a lot of little chipmunks, squirrels, whatever else lives there. And then the berries, of course, uh, they go through the freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw, and a little bit of um, fermentation. And they provide food for the for the wildlife, okay. especially in February when there's not that much oh. out there. Yes. So they can eat the berries. It's totally fine for them. The yes, berries. they're not good for us. They they're are not, not good for us. Don't try the berries. No, do Please, don't do yes. off the tree. I've yeah, never seen them grown like that, though. I've only seen them in this with form. The, with the leaves. Well, they're because yeah. they're two different plants. So the American holly that can get to be um, maybe 28 to 30 feet tall, and and about maybe 15 to uh, 20 feet wide. So it, okay. it's a tall, narrow thing. Um, the one without the leaves is called a winter berry because in the winter all you see is the berries, which I think is cool. It is actually a deciduous plant, which means it loses its leaves in the fall, which is why you don't see the leaves. Uh -huh. And okay. why it makes such a statement in the wintertime with all those berries is just amazing. It is only a shrub. But that's cool because that means shrubs always come up with multiple, multiple branches. And instead of having one little sticky thing going, dee, 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 you have lots and lots of stuff going on. <laughs> and I love it. And it's like, it looks like it's always just having a blast. I'm smiling and all that. It loves wet feet. So if you have like a rain garden or if you have a patch where things, nothing's going to grow because it's so wet, plant some of these. Was, they thrive in wet. I was going to ask you about that because mm -hmm. we've got a couple of these trees in our house. You said mm -hmm. you've got some. Mm -hmm. um, is there any place they don't like? Um, the American holly likes to have damp but well-drained soil. Okay. So it can handle full sun, it can handle partial shade, so it can really fit in almost any landscape on the eastern shore, just as long as it's not always underwater. Right. Once it's established, it can take some high waters, which we have every now and then. We right. have yeah. high, high tides and we have flood and, and that sort of, and, and it rolls with the punches with that. Okay. But the winter berry with all the beautiful berries and none of the leaves in the winter time that can be like in a rain garden it can be um you know where there's almost a ditchy area that right. you, know, you just haven't gotten around to filling it in and yeah. it, it'll just be as happy as me you, you've seen beautiful. me do yard work haven't you <laughs> <laughs> something easy yeah right you know i think gardening should be easy for everybody to me i mean sorry you, no you're right those are absolutely beautiful yeah. i love looking out our back windows at the tree mm -hmm. with uh -huh. the leaves yes. and the berries yeah and, uh, and thank you for straightening something out because I was a little worried about our front yard tree because it was tall but not very wide. And you said that's the way the natural yes. grow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So you have a normal tree. It's I've got news. a normal tree. Yes. That's the only thing you, around our house. However, I'm thank not you sure very about. much, April. For <laughs> talking trees. Moving on. Thank you, Jenny, so much for coming in and talking to us and, and, and sharing some marvelous wisdom. That, mm -hmm. Leave it alone. Thank well, you, Jenny. This way, everybody can go ahead and find the perfect tree or shrub for their yard. There you go. All right. Thank you, Mike.